This is Lou Marino. In today's tutorial we're going to take an image, a flat image, and conform it to a surface using a displacement map. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a, a, a surface that's not flat, like a blanket, like you see here, and we're going to add a flat image to it, in this case a logo, and when we put them together we're going to have it look like the logo is just part of the blanket. Okay, so how do we do that? So let's go to Google and look up that blanket first. I'm going to type in wrinkled blanket into Google, go into their images section, and the first item here is the blanket that we want to work with. So go into uh, that image, right mouse click, and uh, take a copy of it all right and then we're going to go into Photoshop hit new and since it's already in the clipboard we're just going to select clipboard and then edit paste that image into um, into uh, Photoshop okay so what when we're there we're going to take uh, that layer that we just copied in and we're going to change it to a black and white. There's several ways to do it in Photoshop. Um, I like to just go into image adjustments and then hit desaturate and it turns into a, a black and white. Uh, you also don't need this background layer here so I'm just going to uh, put it in the trash bin. Okay so once you have this image and this is going to be your displacement map. Now what's a displacement map? A displacement map basically um, is a map of the highs and lows, the blacks and the whites and the grays and how they relate to each other. Now we need to know that so that we, when we put the flat image on top of it, it knows how to distort that flat image to fit nicely into this, into this blanket space which is not flat. So I'll show you how to do that. So let, let's let's save the uh, the black and white version of the blanket, and you simply just go into File, Save As, and I'm just going to call it Blanket Displacement. Okay. So that's saved. Next thing we want to do is we want to find um, our flat image. So I'm just going to type Philadelphia. job here. Let's start all over. So I'm going to type Philadelphia Flyers logo. I'm going to see if I can get like a higher quality image and through filtering on uh, Google. And there's an image there of the Flyers logo. I'm going to select it and like I did with the blanket. I'm just going to copy it to memory. All right. And then we paste it edit paste into our project. Now notice it's very large. So first thing we need really need to do is just cut it down to a to a decent size and then take away some of that black border. So I'm simply going to go to to um, edit transform hit scale and make sure that when you're scaling your image you you have your finger on the shift key so that when you scale it it maintains its perspective. So there's the logo kind of scaled down. I'll accept that. And I want to get rid of this black around the border, around the logo. So I'm going to use, in this case, the magic wand tool. I'm just going to click on the outside. It highlights nicely around uh, the white border. And just uh, simply hit delete. And that will, that will isolate the logo. So I'm going to deselect so you can see what it looks like now. I'm just going to move the, the logo into place. In fact, I'm, just, I'm going to just cut it down just a little bit further. I'm going to transform scale. Again, shift key. I'm just going to make it just a little bit smaller and accept it. Okay. And we can center this a little bit better. Now, next step is we have to apply that displacement map that we, that we saved earlier to the logo. 
right now this just looks like two images on top of each other there is no no relationship between the two so what we're going to do is go up to filter distort and then displace now um, there's a horizontal and a vertical scale and a, and a few other options here play around with what you think might work best for you um, I tend to start out at 10 10 if you want to go to 5 you want to go to 15 it's really it's really up to you you might have to play around with this for a while like I said I usually start with 10 and 10 so I'm just going to accept that hit OK once you hit OK it's going to open up uh, a window so you can select your displacement file now remember earlier we saved that file as um, blanket displacement so we're going to go and find blanket displacement and hit open and immediately you're going to see that the logo distorted because what it tried to do was it tried to conform itself to that map that we saved the reason why it looks like it does here is because uh, it defaults to normal view and you have to go in and play around with your blending modes to see if you can get a better look so as you can see there are a couple of dozen dis uh, blending modes but um, you know play around with these two just like you would with um, with your colors and, and your other blending options and see which one looks best sometimes it's best just to go in and just cycle through all of the blending modes and see which one matches up best for what you're looking for lightens okay but it's it's basically showing the the uh, blanket through and that's not what we want we want to get a little bit of more color in there so I'm just gonna cycle through overlay looks good soft light looks good so and and, and there are a few more so we're, we're gonna go with soft light right here and um, and let's do a little bit more on the um, on the touch up so the logo is black but it doesn't show up so much as black here so we we're gonna add an adjustment layer and we'll make it a black adjustment layer and I'm gonna invert the, uh, the layer mask so nothing shows through I'll grab my paintbrush paint with white so that I can start showing some of the color through and you'll notice that doesn't look really that good and the reason why is again look at your display at your blending mode it's normal so I'm just going to select a soft light blending mode and you can see the change so I'll go back in and continue my painting and basically what I'm trying to do is show some of the black in the underlying adjustment layer in the right places which is just around the black part of the logo so that looks a little bit better because we have the texture of the blanket showing through okay here's what it looks like without our, our adjustment layer and here here is with the adjustment layer that actually may be a little too dark so I'm just gonna pull the opacity down just a little maybe 70 percent there's the original there's what we have now last step is we want to change the color of the actual blanket behind there so this this kind of pops out uh, so the logo pops out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the logo I'm going to hit control click on the layer and uh, as you can see there's a selection made of the logo but we actually don't want the logo we want everything but the logo so what we'll do is we'll go into select menu hit inverse so now it's actually selecting everything but the logo and then we're going to add a um, another adjustment layer and we'll just go down we'll add a, a solid color adjustment layer and maybe we'll pick one of the colors that that's already on the logo maybe somewhere in here uh, and hit OK again we don't see the blanket because our blending mode is normal so I'm going to change that blending mode to color and now you see that the color is coming through that might be a little bit more intense of an orange than we're looking for so I'm just going to tone it down just a little and just back away so you can see so so there's the final product uh, the logo has conformed itself 
rather nicely to the to the blanket uh, on the back round and um, and the logo de but definitely shows up as if it was part of, of the blanket so there's the end of the of the uh, the, the tutorial, as you can see, it's really not as difficult as you might have thought when you first looked at the, uh, at the uh, project that we were going to do. If you have any comments, please leave them. If you need me to do any other tutorials, please let me know. Thank you.